This video I'm going to quickly show you how to set up an AD user to service group mapping. This is useful when you need to customize the directory and permissions for an individual AD user. By default, all AD users are assigned the same virtual directories and permissions. These defaults are configured on the domain tab of the AD users page. However, if you wish to customize the directory and permission mappings for individual AD user, you can do so using the customize button. You can select an individual AD account and map them to a Cerberus group account. Keep in mind, configuring an AD user to group mapping will override the default Cerberus group and directory mapping specified for all AD users. We're first going to create a new Cerberus group. By going to Groups and clicking New, we're going to create a new Cerberus group, assign the virtual directory, and the permissions for this new group. Now that we've created our Cerberus group, we're going to go back to the AD Users page. Once we get back to the AD Users page, we're going to click on the Customize button. This is where we'll create our AD User to Cerberus group mapping. The AD User customization box will appear. Select your AD User and then select the Cerberus group you want to assign that user to. Once you've done that, click the Sign button, then press OK, then click Save. Now when the AD user logs in, the default Cerberus group and directory mappings have been overwritten. You will now only see the virtual directory and permissions for the Cerberus group that we just created. Check out our support page at www.cerberusftp.com. Also don't forget to check out our video on 80 groups to Cerberus group mappings as well.